Well, hello guys, this is your girl Diva Diva Fashionista. And it's been a long time since I've done like a top five countdown. And when I heard that Toys R Us might be reopening, I was like, perfect. I have the perfect advice for them. If they want to reopen and they want to be successful, yeah, this is what you need to do. One of the biggest things, like when they were closing in, they were filing chapter 11 and all that type of thing. A lot of people were saying like, oh, kids don't play with toys anymore. That is not true. I know my kids love toys. Kids play with toys. They love toys. Ryan's Toy Review here on YouTube has 16 million subscribers. So the interest in toys is still there. We just need to do something better or they need to do something better as far as their business practices. And I'm going to help them out. So without further ado, this is my top five and this is number five. Number five, they need to offer better sales. Like they need to have actual sales and actually offer coupons. The thing is, kids love toys, but they're not actually buying toys. It's the parents. And a lot of time, a lot of us parents, we are on a budget. We have a budget. We have other things to do, like pay our rent. Other things we want to do with our money besides buy toys, especially expensive toys. And now, Toys R Us has been resting on the laurels of they've been the only one or they've been the biggest one. You know, with everything, anything, you're going to have your Toys R Us. You're going to have your LV of the purses. You're going to have your Bentley or your Mercedes of the car. Like, you're always going to have that brand. And Toys R Us has been that brand so long that they've been able to put the prices, set the prices, and just sit back and make money. So when you start to struggle, it's like, okay, what are we doing wrong? It's your prices. You guys need to kind of come look, come down on the prices um, to compete with these big box stores. Because if I can go to Walmart and get that toy $5 cheaper, guess where I'm going? I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Wally Wally Wally. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I'm going to go to your competition. So if Toys R Us is going to reopen and be able to really fight with all these other competitors, the prices need to be better. And we actually need to have coupons. Toys R Us really does not offer coupons. They have like a, a, a some type of uh, points program, not a points program, some type of program they have where you can sign up for the program or you can sign up for the emails, but there's no coupons in there. We need coupons. Black Friday, we need a Black Friday sale from midnight to like 12 p.m., 20% off all the toys. We That's what you need to do. So that's number five. Sales and coupons. Y'all need to get with it. Take some notes. Trust me, it'll work. Number four. Don't reopen Times Square. I'm a New Yorker and I found it so overwhelming and such a headache to shop at the Times Square location. What would happen is I'd be looking for, let's say, a stroller and they'd say, Times Square is the only one that has it in stock. And now I go to Times Square to get the stroller and there's a whole bunch of looky-loos. You have all these tourists and just people just looking for something cheap or free to do while they're in the city and they go into Toys R Us and it's the big old T-Rex and it's all this and, and me as someone who's about to spend my money, I'm just like, oh my, I'm overwhelmed. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta squeeze through this family of people just looking at the dinosaur like uh, I want to buy my stroller and it was just too much of a headache and a hassle and I don't even want to know what rent in Times Square is so uh guys we don't want to be spending more in rent than we are getting in in revenue so we might not want to put stores where the rent is sky freaking high like I, I wouldn't do that again number three Lay away. Do, why do I have to even, I, I don't even know why I really need to say this, but I feel I need to say this. You need to have actual, factual layaway. The way the layaway system is set up now sucks. I'm going to tell you from my experience of Christmas 2017. My kids wanted about $600 worth of toys. They wrote their list. Well, the big one helped the little one write his list and he wrote his list and I was like yes okay let's go see what I can get let's go put it on layaway because it was $600 worth of toys 
So I go to my nearest Toys R Us, the one that's closest to my home. I go in and I try to do a layaway. There's signs on the door saying, as of two days prior to the day I got there, they're not accepting any layaways. Now, I'm in the um, loyalty program. I am signed up for the emails. Did not get that email. It's marked off as my local store, as my preferred store. Didn't get an email saying that they're not going to be accepting any layaways. I made a trip to the store. I pulled the manager to the side and I said, hey, like, how are we supposed to know this? You guys gonna let us know. God straight up told me, the manager was like, we're not accepting any more layaways, walked away from me. So I did wind up buying one of the toys that, you know, my son wanted that day and it was a hot item. So I was like, let me just get it. So, you know, I got a survey and, you know, I filled out the survey, filled out the survey, said how I wasn't satisfied with my service as of that day. Actually got a, a response from the store manager, the actual store manager of that branch. And he was like, we always want to put the customer first. Um, you should have approached one of our members of our leadership. One of the managers would have, would have gladly helped you out with that. I replied to that email, which I said I did exactly that, and I was rudely told no. Rudely. So, we need to do actual factual layaway. I said all that to say the existing program as it is, is terrible. They ran out of space, which is why they weren't accepting any more, any more layaways. So, when we open, if you reopen and you have freestanding stores, one of the things you need to do is have a, a layaway stock room big area pushed to the side for just layaways and it does not matter when i come whether it's january whether it's april whether it's july whether it's september whether it's october where people are now gearing towards the christmas spirit and putting things aside for their children and getting ready for those big ticket items i should be able to put my toys on hold for that time pay it off and it needs to be not telling me how much I need to pay how, when I need to make the payments because yeah that's part of it too you need to make a payment this day this day that day yes no we need to get rid of that whatever is the minimum you need to put down let's say it's $25 we put down a minimum of $25 and you need to put $100 worth of toys whatever however you guys worked it out but you need to work it out I should be able to come because my son's birthday is in September. I should be able to come in June and put the Paw Patroller on hold because the Paw Patroller is like, I don't know, like $100 by itself. So I should be able to put it on layaway, come give you my $25, and when I get paid the next two weeks, come give him maybe another $25, and when I get paid again, come give another maybe $10, all I got is 10 this week, I can only spare 10 put 10 on it until it's paid up over the, that 90 day period. Three months, actual, factual layaway. Because people have birthdays every day. If you have layaway and they're able to put their toys on layaway, then you have revenue coming in all month, every month, all the time. Get it? Get it? Good. Number two, put a McDonald's in there. I mean, like, come on. Maybe... Maybe not McDonald's. Maybe sell something else besides toys. Yeah, sell something else besides toys. I think McDonald's. Get McDonald's on the phone. Talk to them. See what y'all could work out. Whereas there's a McDonald's in Toys R Us. Because think about it. If I work across the street from Toys R Us and they got a McDonald's in it, it's my lunch break. That's the closest I'm shooting in. Whether I'm buying toys or not, that's still money coming through. And Think about it. Kids love McDonald's. That's why there's toys and Happy Meals. Get it? Like, I really need to be charging for this advice. <laughs> this is, it's, it's, it's genius advice, but it's not that hard, right? Toys, McDonald's, get that together. That might work for y'all. Moving on to number one. Number one. Make babies are rest the face of your brand. Now, I talked about lowering prices because you need to lower the prices on the pampers too. People have babies every day. People have babies every day. If you even look at reality TV, uh, Portia pregnant, um, Kenya's pregnant, um, 
some Eva the Diva just had a baby. Uh, let's go on. I can't even think. I, I, if I really sat down and think, I could think about at least a few more. Y'all probably could say in the comments how many other people on TV or celebrities, you know, that are pregnant, expecting babies. So babies are born every day, right? Right? We established that, right? So just like right now, if you think about another brand, Gap Inc. Right now, Gap Inc. has banana, Gap, which is really the face of the brand. But quiet as it's kept, Old Navy is bringing in the most revenue right now. Old Navy is holding up the brand. Why? Because people are on a budget. People don't have a lot of money. You have way more people who are struggling to get by than people who are well off. So if we kind of lean and cater towards those people who may be struggling a bit, but still want to spend money. There's consumerism. Come on. If we kind of go lean towards them a little bit, we'll bring in more money. Come off the prices. Make Babies R Us the face of your brand. Let that be what brings in the most revenues when it's June and maybe toy sales are kind of low. Pampers. Pampers. And understand, again, we're going to get back to the big box stores. If I can go to Target, which I did, I had a baby four years ago. If I stop going to, to, to Babies R Us to buy my Pampers, why Target sells them $5 cheaper? You see all these celebrities? We love collabs. We love guest designers. We love these collaborations with celebrities. So-and-so, the I don't know. Rihanna might have a baby sometime soon. Get Rihanna in there. Let her have a little design, some onesies or something. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is simple. It is simple. I don't know if y'all could afford Beyonce at this point. Get Beyonce in there. She could have some bizarre with onesies or something. Or something catered to the twins or something. Come on. We just got to get the creative juices flowing. Because what you were doing before, it did not work. And I think that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> if you want some more ideas, holla at me, Toys R Us, because I'm full of ideas. But uh, that's my top five. What do you think? It, do you think it's a good idea if Toys R Us reopens? Or were you sad to see it go? Leave it down in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one. Later, guys.